What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And today, we got the Slasher Rap Cypher by Freshy Canal featuring Connor Quest, The Kevin Bennett, The Man Be His Law, and more. Now, hey, first and foremost, this is an 8 minute and 23 cypher. I think, I think like this is the longest one of the ciphers this year and such. I could be wrong. Y'all let me know. Because Peso Pete had one that was like what? Seven minutes or six minutes or so. And then with the man be his law. His most recent one I reacted to. I forget that one. But regardless of the ciphers that I've seen this year. I could be wrong let me know in the comments below this one is probably the biggest like the longest one pause no diddy and a hey, like a Halloween is coming up as you see what the thumbnail was and such a lot of the slat a lot of the ones we know like a uh, J Jason Voorhees <laughs> ghost face freaking leather face and such and I see that on the See on the thumbnail Pennywise and such, I don't think Pennywise was a slasher, but we'll see what happens. But either way, and look, just let me know in the comments below if he was or was not. But regardless, let me know, let's see what this is all about. So let's get to slashing basically. So we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me now, my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. Yeah, warning. This ain't this video ain't for kids. Yeah, <laughs> hold on. First and foremost, he was definitely right when he said this video ain't for kids. So for all the kids who are watching this reaction right now, click off. <laughs> this ain't for you, but hold on. I want to see the... I want to see the list and such. So hold on. Let me just go to the channel real quick. Let me see who's on this list right now. Hello. Let me just see who's on this list right now. So, so first one is Omega Sparks. So okay. So his first guy is so his first person is Omega Sparks. All right. Let's get it. All right, let's go. You love the taste of a dead teen. It's crazy work. Yeah, that's crazy. Hold up a second. Whoa. Freaking Jeffrey Dahmer say who? Like, hold up a second. Riot at dance while I'm doing the worm. That's crazy. <laughs> Why well, I feel like that's a Scotty to me. I know what look, I know y'all probably think it's and it might be related, but to me, when I'm here and doing the worm, I'm a riot at dances when I'm doing the worm. I'm thinking of wrestling, so 
when I instantly think of the worm, if y'all, if there's any goaded old WWE fans out there when it was called WWF, where this was this wrestler named Scotty Too Hotty, legend, and he was always, oh, boy, whenever he brought, whenever he was about to hit the worm and such, everybody was, everybody in the crowd was going crazy for that move. So, it may, to me, that's what the bar means, but it probably means a lot more when it comes to a Freddy Cougar. So, I'm just saying. That could be it or it could not, but regardless. Okay, so who's Jason? Free, of course, Freeze is Jason. Why not Jason? Why not Freeze be Jason? I mean the box for slashing. Where are you? <laughs> hey, and really think about. <laughs> Look, and I know there's always this meme where you can kill him as much as you want. He's still just gonna come back and such. And look, as much as it is a meme and all that, I mean, is it wrong though? <laughs> is the meme wrong though? I don't know if you messed up too. Where are you? That's Lime King, all right. <laughs> and I noticed that, and I'm. This is probably I should have probably noticed from Freeze doing Jason. Yeah, the voices are definitely going to be a little bit more high pitch. But then again, Lime King coming as himself, as but as Chucky, but no voice effect and such. Hey, so far. This, this is already a crazy cipher. Facts. Wait, hold on, what you said? Hold on. I know he, look, shout out to Lime King, but my nigga, you be going crazy. Let me make sure that's actually his Lime King. Yeah, that's Lime King. But this nigga, sometimes, Lime King is like a peso Pete. And it's so crazy that those two, in a way, have their type, in a way, is the same. But you can definitely tell that when it comes to, like, their energies and such, when it comes to songs, can be totally different. Rip from the toy. Yes. Wow. that girl i forgot what was her y'all let me know what her name was because i remember he always having a ride literally a ride or die no ride and die girl on his side we always talk about the 
definitions of she might ride it or he might ride it down or whatever. Nah. That nigga really had a ride and die girl with him. Freshy? Yep. Stacking all the bodies on the water, I'm crowd surfing. Mm. <laughs> that's that's a that's a bar. But hold on, Freshy, yeah, I said Freshy, right? Yeah, Freshy. Let's get it. Freshy, hold up. Real Freshy. Oh wait. Okay, now that I see this, cause I'm. Well, let me. Let's be honest. We always know Penny for the freaking balloon one and such. But I, to me, to my knowledge, don't crucify me, y'all, cause I know some of y'all always do. Well. I don't say all of y'all, but I'm just saying, from my knowledge, I have never seen him in like that spider form before. Because we always seen him with the damn balloon and such. And I've seen at one point when he has the teeth open up when he sees the sharp razor teeth. But to my knowledge, whether it's if, I, if I've seen a movie or whatnot, I have never seen him in this spider form before. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. Damn. <laughs> Hold on, what you said about Georgie? Because <laughs> when freaking Georgie, that damn bolt and such, was going into that sewer, Georgie tried to reach into it. What that nigga do? Chomp that boy's arm off. <laughs> Who we got next? Letterface, Politicus. Nice little, nice little shout out to Chainsaw Man, the anime. Mm. Mm. Chainsaw Man, the dog will pull strings. Noise yeah. stand in a regular dorm, I got several forms from horrible to adorable. Taxidermy my old life is irrestorable. Norman Bates strips. And you're crazy enough. Because I remember a bar that. I remember a song, what was it? The 100% from Game Boy Jones's like. Mob Psycho song from like two years ago, where he set a bar where it says, We're. Psycho, but no Norman base. Weird kid with a normal face. Like, I never, cause I never know who was that. Now that I'm seeing the character, even if it, this is just in the in a cartoonish type of vibe and such, just seeing the character, I kind of get it now. <laughs> so I definitely kind of get it now with the. Psycho, but no Norman Bates and such. Yeah, that bar definitely hits so much better now. Now that I'm actually seeing who that person is, cause hey, let me. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I have never, for certain, like horror type characters or whatnot. There's always the classic ones we know, like a Freddy Krueger, Jason, Leatherface and such. And beyond, and straight up being honest with y'all. The only reason why I know certain ones like those and such, because not only from movies, but majority of the time I be knowing them from Mortal Kombat, because they always release the additional, like, 
packs and such where it includes them and such the new DLCs and such from like the Mortal Kombat 10 or the 11 or the 11 no from like 10 or so so yeah those were I know them from but and also like I said with movies and then with Pennywise and such we always know that but certain ones I have never known before like uh, Norman Bates and such I am never I didn't never know about him so that's on my bad but regardless spit your shit drip you ain't staying in a regular dorm, I got several forms from horrible to adorable. Taxidermy, my old life isn't restorable. When I go and grab this knife, it's not ignorable. Mother's hands close to every action, I act cordial. Until I act to react towards you. Cordial. Every slice of it, send me back to the courtroom. We don't have a fight, but we all go a little bit mad sometimes. I resort to kill it. I got a trio and I hate to say we ain't finished. And like me, I'm about to do this. And I don't need no bitch. Me and the motel and she don't miss what I'm saying. I can't play it, cause she's so pretty. I got a hobby. Hey. And really think of, and the craziest thing is this is definitely realistically of how it is nowadays where most people you think are also normal looking so cool and whatnot next minute you know you didn't next minute you know they started killing motherfuckers and you would never think it was them so really I would say in my honest opinion y'all let me know if I'm wrong or not but with Norman Bates I feel like he represents a majority of how people are, how certain people are, where they act like normal, they look like they're normal, they cool. But when you get to see how they re, but when you see how they get out of character now, when it comes to like the killing or something, then you gotta be wary of them. Very, very, very wary of them. We ain't finished. We ain't finished. We ain't finished. Pinhead, Conquest. Wait. Ghostface. Oh, you labeled it so wrong, Freshy. You labeled this list so wrong, but regardless, I give you that. Hold on, you already know it. With the Kevin Bennett, we have to run it back because you know this man be spitting crazy. Hold on, so. Mm. No, Home Alone, McCarley, Kevin McCarley, Home Alone. Hey, if you've watched Home Alone before, leave a like on this video. Don't. It's the only category this cat gory. I be killing. What'd you say? You can never just stomach me. I'ma leave you disbowed. <laughs> Saying that nigga, like dispowed stomachs, like bowments. Mm. So it's not. I be killing a kid. I'm going to SIDS now. Well, I feel like that's. Never mind. Even any, you already know my thing with Connor Quest. What do we call him? The King of Literacy, Literacy, Liter whatever. Point is, this man knows how to bend words, and I'll be, t I'll be telling y'all. You know he's about to go crazy 
when it's a vowel when it's a word that has a vowel letter in it whether it's a e i o u or sometimes was i don't think he has ever done with one y before but i'll be telling y'all and y'all don't i don't even think y'all believe me and such when i say when you know he's about to snap when he has a vowel in when it's the word that has a vowel in it Establish the cipher, then rend it with insolent words. Little flex. Crow, crow, you hand me the mic and I'll give you a verse. I'm the great Picasso of the lane, the backbone. Your remains are rendered in the paint to canvas. The face of the devil's and the rain to hands and not take it out of the ring. You can't get this thing. You sat down at my table, I'm going to display the blade. I'm not going to sit down. I'm just going to paint this rancid. The taste is lavish. I'm going to put the table platter. 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 Bro, I'm telling you, ciphers like these and A and P makes the double XL ciphers. Mm -mm. Cause be honest with yourself. At a time, people always used to always get excited about the double XL ciphers. But as of years go by, mm -mm. somehow it just lost its credit. I don't know how. And people has their theories, but hey, I'm sorry. Probably around to to what I can say around 2016, that was at this peak where Double XL was at. But maybe I would say maybe around 20 2018, because then 2019 it it was all right. But then after the next years go by, some were decent, some were good, and you always have that one that was caca, just trash. But the ciphers like from the nerdcore community and AMP, them are the type of ciphers where you like, these were the type of fireness that you missed from the double XLs. And this year's double XL, you didn't even know that they was releasing. Honest to God. At this point, you didn't even know they was even releasing double XL ciphers anymore. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. I mean, for goodness sakes. The one who was there, the Mexican OT, the man literally dissed y'all. To have somebody who you elected to be on Double XL, and in his verse he was dissing y'all. Like at that point, if one of your own, if one of your own people who you selected shitted on y'all, what what's the point then? But yeah, that's what I'm saying. When it's certain shit like this. It's certain ciphers like the Nerdcore ciphers and AMP ciphers that it has that magic where Double XL used to have, but not anymore. The great Picasso of the lane, the backbone, your remains are rendition to paint a canvas. The face off with Hannibal's on the ring, the hands in that ticket out to make you hear him say, you sound like a stranger sat down at my table, I'm here to display the blade, I'm like a mixing table, man, is it behind his rancid, but the taste is lavish, I have to relate the manners of the table platter. But the feeding of the speaking... That nigga said, if your attitude... Is trash, but your, but the way how he, he lets you gonna taste is, <laughs> man say you know what's for dinner. It's basically that age old question. Ooh, what's for dinner? Uh, you my nigga, <laughs> head ass. <laughs> That's what's for dinner. You. <laughs> Hold up, what was that alliteration? <laughs> let lecture, lecture, let niggas. Try saying that four times. Let lecture, oh, let lecture, lecture, lessers. That's nigga, how can, try saying, let me see if I can say that four times. Let lecture, let lecture, lectures, lessers. Let, let, I can't even say that one time, goddamn. Can't even say that one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Who's next? Oh, that man needs it all. Fall out of pain, I'm scummy walking like a moth to a flame. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Michael, Michael, of course. Not the hot Why the hot tour girl got a sl got a slashed? <laughs> That's crazy. And it's so crazy that I, like I said earlier, I reacted to his cipher, and we got this, and he's on this one. Bro, the fact with the likes of Peso Pete's One Piece cipher with Zonin talk, the man be his laws, his cipher with the balloons and such, and then with this, I'm I'm just saying, I'm not saying the ciphers are dead anymore. The ciphers are dead in Nerdcore, but it's ciphers like these that will always have that like fresh. Lead thing in such where it brought excitement and such. I'm not. I'm not, not saying that for all the ciphers out there that don't have it, but it was ciphers like these that made the nerdcore community what it is and such. Because granted, everybody else was always making their fire music, but it was always these ciphers where everybody you get to see some old faces bringing in something new with their cipher with their verse or, or some new faces going crazy. And a, I need more of this where you hear the creativity and such. Not freaking Michael Myers doing the shoot with the damn knife. Ain't no way. Hold on. This nigga doing the shoot with the knife is crazy. Yeah. Oh, and he did. Freeze was the narrator. Okay. Of course, we appreciate it. Shout out to the animators in the 3D. Saiyan Boat, of course. Shout out to you. Happy Halloween. Hey. Everybody on this cipher went crazy and such. Y'all sliced and diced the hell out of this cipher, man. And what a way for like how we, like how Halloween is coming up and such. She what a way for this song to this cipher to come out and such, cause she best be in a way. I have my, because knowing how my country is, Jamaica is, when it comes to this type of thing where, just because it's known for like the dead and whatnot, and I can see it like that. Totally can see it like that because my culture, we don't celebrate anything that deals with evil spirits or whatnot. But to me, here's how I look at it as, because if it's about, because if you're going to do something like that, mm -mm. me personally, me personally, I just focus on like trying to dress up and such because that's what to me how it mostly is where you're just dressing up and such because i don't think nobody's ever gonna like saying they actually want to do some evil shit when it comes to halloween because if you do something wrong with you that the fact that you want to dress up just because that is halloween that gives you a right to do something evil no that has I, if you go with that logic i'm sorry you're a dumbass if you have that type of logic or you're just psycho but either way, shout out to everybody who was on this cipher and such. Hey, 
like I said, I need to, like I'm saying, I need to see more ciphers like these and such. The like with the likes of like Peso Pete cipher, the man be his lost cipher, and now Freshy Canel cipher, and who else? Freaking Callan B cipher. I might, cause I know I said I would react to it. I'm, a, I'm going to. I just need to. I'm gonna find. A, I'm trust me, Callan B. If you see this, my guy, I will react to your cipher, cause I know you sent it to me before, but I will check it out. But regardless, y'all, let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Y'all let me know who y'all favorite horror goat is and such. Who y'all horror character, Halloween, like you can say, scary character goat is and such. Y'all let me know in the comments below. But either way, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.